Back outside, come back in, because they did last time, then maybe we'll just do that. Because I think actually it takes a certain amount of time in the game for things to spawn back. Like, bosses take like seven days to spawn back. They're on, master. What if I shoot you with a How explosive bolt? Oh, 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 that's really cool. Because then they're stunned. Look at that. <laughs> Easy pickings. Watch your step. And you know you're going to hit one of those guys physically. Watch. Boom. <laughs> yeah, no chance. Okay, let's go back in here and see if those phantasms have respawned yet. We have to actually start using some of this harps, but get rid of some of this weight. Which I don't mind using it, even though it's really supposed to be used for health and endurance. Or health and stamina, but another amount of mushrooms, it'll be nice to ditch the weight. They're a half pound a piece. This is heavy. This canyon links the capital with the west of Gransas. Winged monsters seem to favor the terrain here. Hmm, they didn't spawn back yet. Oh. Yeah, well the snow harpies are just endlessly annoying and endless of so seems like an endless amount of them. Phantasms monster. Best brace for lightning. Yeah, well where are they? Snow harpy! That was terrible. <laughs> Missed him twice. Oh, the goblins aren't even back yet. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Whoa. I'll provoke it. Boom. Strength in numbers. Snow that was a really bad yell. We have triumph. Wow. They die so fast. That was really cool. <clears throat> a couple episodes ago, somebody used our pawn. I got 10,000 realm crystals for it, or rift crystals for it, and they gave me a five-star review. So I, every time I'm going to put a song, I'm going to actually put some time and effort into reviewing people's pawns and telling them thank you and giving them a good item. Because I thought that was really cool. Draw its attention. Well, why don't you do that? Man? Where the hell are my guys at? See this guy, he can't come. No, we're just a one man army while you guys are screwing around on that damn ladder. There is Chew. Is there water within? There is Chew. Wow, it's so cool. Look at all that. That's well done.
fall from these heights will shorten a leg or a lifespan. Yeah. It hates fire! In the level. I'm trying to think about how I would get to that one chest. It has to have something to do with this endgame stuff here. It has to be this one here. Liquid Vim. Can never have enough enough liquid vim. <laughs> the hell? Why, why? Why does it always get stuck right there? It's so weird. Oh, that's where that chest is. Okay. What's that? I don't know, some sconces. The steel beak. The apostle. Yeah, this is like where we had to end up for that mission. It's right here. This looks interesting. Oh no. I almost leapt off the edge. That would have been bad. That would have been death right there. Phantasms, come back. Okay. Well, let's go out of here and we'll try to get a respawn again. I think maybe because it was nighttime, it did that. Might just have to fast travel out of here. We'll come back later again. But I'll edit all that fast traveling stuff out. Itis ring. <clears throat> sage's robe, a blessed robe said to have been worn by a sage of some renown. Cool. That's a really cool look, too. The iris ring, a magical ring reminiscent of a blue iris, offers protection against being frozen solid. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Where the hell are they? Okay, we're gonna fast travel back. And then we'll come back again. I don't have enough stamina items to run back here again right now. Oh, look at that, I have more of these. Yeah, I got the first five, so there's no more. I've got one on Cutlass Cape. I could probably take that one from Hillfigure Knoll, but... Oh, excuse me. We're gonna fast travel back to Grand Soren first. 
get some more items. We need more stamina stuff. Then we'll come back out here. You suppose there is a port crystal. One can reach it from anywhere with a use. It's a port crystal. A magic item. Well, we got seven out of ten of them that run. So we'll get the other three this next run. Let's go up here and grab some stamina stuff, then we'll fast travel right back and just go hit it. Seems this is where the merchants live. It is quite open. How fair you. <clears throat> One thing, let's check and see if our weaponsmith, our weapons master has more weapons for us. We gave him that idol. Oh, he sure does. Eden's Warden, cool. A Khaled Bulg. Obliteratrix. That's a pretty cool name. Fiery Talon. Throw cutters. Here we go. We're getting our stuff. Snag daggers, crimson tooth, ironclad staff. No new daggers. The divine axis. That's new. A staff blessed with divine might by a master source where its holy enchantment is never ending. Oh, nice. That's a really good one. A mage can use it? Nice. We might actually buy that for our mage. Frozen tomorrow. For a sorcerer. An arch staff imbued with numbing cold. Master Merle. A bow of magical iron, easy to work despite its immense heft. It's not as good as what we have. So, whatever. Okay, really not much different. Master works all. Nothing we can really use. Oh gosh, sorry. I did that so much the first time I played this game. I got in so much trouble. Love of magic and its kind. Iron and the master works all. Oh, nice. Sweet. Fully upgraded that. Okay. The work come again. That's about all we can do there. You're not the one to talk to, it's your friend. Why not stay? Take all the time. Always hope she had some liquid vim. Let's go. The tongue. Do come again. Then let's go to storage over here. Put some stuff away because we're very heavy. This inn can serve as the heart. I hear no wind. Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? have a ton of weight. Those were interesting. I didn't see that he picked those up. You gotta keep an eye on your guys like that. Rusted Arch Staff. It's not like a very good weapon or anything like that, but look at all this stuff that's supposed to be just for us. What will it be today? Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Do you have anything new? No.
What will it be today? Have your pick. Come again soon. Oh, wait. Let's see if we can set more deep skills because he did gain a couple of vocation pick. levels. And he's a brand new. Wait, I want to change your vocation. Pick. You like? He's a brand new mage. What will it be today? Lassitude. Invokes a magical fog at a designated location that inflicts torpor upon enemies. Okay. Slows them down. High miasma. That's a great one. It expands the size of the poisonous fog. That is such a deadly one. Void spell. Invokes a magical sigil which restores any lowered offense or defensive attributes of those who enter. Necromancy. Summons the souls of the departed to surround the user, assisting with attack and defense for a time. Very cool. Don't really remember that one, but we're going to take it. We've got Levitate. Emphasis. Augments the power of magic attacks designed to knock foes down. Suasion. Enables you to negotiate higher prices for items and equipment you sell. Okay. Not that those are going to be very useful, but we'll take them. Greatly reduces damage sustained in magic attacks. That is extremely useful. Probably is why nothing's happening. There's no any spells. Whoa! The last one can serve as a stepping stone. That's so interesting. Be today. Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Let's Understood. rest and then we'll run back out there. Now we're invested in this gleam of heaven. Ah. Here we can rest, manage inventory and skills, and so on. So one thing I want to really try to do is speed running in this game. Yeah. So the whole time I'm playing right now, I'm kind of thinking like, how would I speed run this? What can you skip? What can I get by? Let's use this to fast travel back to the north forest. And then we're gonna take this stone with us. Because the we're gonna be kind of by the end game area. Soul Failure Canyon's kind of by that. Something drawn on the hill. What's that? Now let's just run back as fast as we can. Take us another probably five minutes at least. I never see another snow harpy, I'll be happy. Well, I wonder what. Can I use one of my liquid vims? Well, of course I can. Should I? I shall. Fall, beast! <laughs> that poor, poor harpy doesn't know what she's in for. Got roasted before she knew she was dead. There's that spring. We know where we're at. We're going right over here. Roots of this sort of tree oft yield useful herbs and other plants. It's not as bad. We could just use liquid vim. Dios hills. Now we'll start using up our mushrooms. Hello, moldy apple. Shouldn't, shouldn't have picked that up, but I did. A hobgoblin arisen. Be wary. There's a few of them. You guys can have fun. 
I'm not sticking around for that. I want these last three phantasms. I want to find out what this gleam of heaven is. I forgot. Stop in midair to eat three mushrooms. We might find an altered use here, Master. I suggest we search. Uh, you guys go ahead. Just like breaking boxes open. So rich in resources. We best be cautious, Master. There's a couple more mushrooms. Look at that. Oh, it was a trap, a mushroom trap. Just keep running, 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 running. Anybody go to any good music shows this year? A concert, a show at a bar, or anything like that? I got tickets to Cody, Cody Jenks and the Turnpike Troubadours at the Tacoma Dome. Wow, where'd that arrow come from? What the hell? Okay, let's just keep running. I don't really want to get caught up in something. Um, but I'm really excited about it. Leave a comment down below if you guys are going to any kind of music shows or if there's one you want to see this year specifically. The Rusted Longbow. Yeah. That's not the quest we're on. We're on the Soul Flare Cannon quest. Try to get this item. We don't take kindly to trace bosses. Should take an arrow, don't you? I got an arrow for you. So this all should be respawned now. Canyon links the capital with the west of Gransas. Weird monsters seem to favor the terrain here. A block of snow on the ground! Throw them down and strike! This is in range of our feet! I'm confused. I thought those phantasmas were supposed to be right here, too. Instead, it's just more of these damn harpies. We have triumph. Strength in numbers are risen. Did it! <laughs> ah, it sounds so funny. I mean, seriously, there's supposed to be a couple right here, I thought, but I'm, I must be wrong. I must be down here. Oof. There we go. Found him. Oh, get off of me. Get off of me. Oh, you guys better get down and help. Well, this is not good that. Shot of his lancing blow. That one was a direct hit. Hey, what's up? 
Alright, we just need one more of those phantasms. But I'm not sure where to find it. Yeah, it should be in here somewhere though. That was gnarly. Intervene. Interventive. So maybe it's this next section up here where the more phantasms are. Isn't that crazy how we were standing in the water when the meteor hit and it splashed water up on us and now we're wet? Really, really nice little detail right there. Oh, look at all these potions. Spicy mushroom tea, harpsman juice, bottled haze. There's like one of everything in there. Here we go. Now we've got them. Watch this. We'll get all three of these right here with one shot. Boom! Oh, that was so sick. So sick. Okay, now, did we just get that item? Bum ba da bum! The rusted longbow, the gleam of heaven. A greased anchor to heaven that douses whatever it strikes in oil. Oh, okay. Well, it's cool, but it's not as cool as I thought it was gonna be. It's such an anchor to heaven that's got a slightly modified trick to it. Yeah, it's not very good. What happens if we give it to Muad'Dib, and what happens? He can't use it anyways. So, okay, <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so you guys know the Gleam of Heaven is just a anchor to heaven with a oil attribute on it. It inflicts them with oil. So cool. Good to know. That was fun. Now. A Neil Tooth. The Cursed King's Belt. That sounds like a sick one. But macabre statues are all over there on Bitter Black Isle in the upper stratum. Fie, fee and curse this place. Am I to live out my days in this fetid pit? No. I've not given up. Just as despair's icy grip has taken hold, I had a divine revelation. One thin strand of hope. I must find more of them. Yes, of course, they're the only way out of this wretched labyrinth. I must have more of the macabre sculptures. Huh. It's a cool quest. I bet the Cursed King's Belt's a cool item. But I don't think I can do that yet. Neither can I do that one yet. The Soul Taker. That sounds cool. But 50 buos is a lot. The Golden Bastard is a cool reward. I don't know which one that is, though. Acquire a snake skin purse. Anil the Blitterix. Undo it black. Yeah, that's all just random stuff. Um, so I think that we're about ready to continue the main quest, to be honest. Let's da 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 da, -da fast travel back to Grand Sorin. Oh, shoot. <sighs> you know what I didn't do? I didn't put that port crystal down there, guys. It's going to be a longer run out there next time because we took that other it's crystal away. Well, at least we've got one in our inventory for when we want to use it, you know. Let's see what kind of missions are on the Pawn Guild here. Swamp Things. Defeat 10 Sulfurin Saurians. Might as well pick that one up.
wonder how Dad and his son are doing. A smithy, I should think. I shall never forget you. Says the same thing. His son's not here, though. the end. I hear no end of... Have your pick. Any other? What will it be today? Gotta stay light. What will it be today? Have your pick. Come again soon. Let's go see the black cat and see if he's got any new items to sell. Oh, but Renard, he's a salesman too. Traveling like... My black. No. Let us talk. He does have new items. A brick. Cool. It's a weird one. I don't know how many bricks I've seen. Silk. Okay. Snake skin. Can we make a snake skin purse? Let's take one of these. I don't, I don't know what that even does. Grand Soren Rubble. Okay, good to know he sells that stuff. The Rusted Greatsword. He's got a few new items, but they're all rusted ones. Flutter padding. Light undergarb for the lower body that doesn't restrict the wearer's movement. Black Gators. Huntsman trousers. Assembled breeches. Those are strange. Strange. So like samurai little breeches. No. Okay. He doesn't have anything real special. Let's check Black Cat out. <laughs> then if Black Cat doesn't have anything, we'll go back to the main story. Even though it looks like there's a mission. Check in with the innkeeper while we're right here. Oh. I see you're old at work on an air. Truly, man, even in these diet. As long as man, that makes spoke. Tis work well. He always just says the same thing. <laughs> so he must not have activated that quest yet, or gotten to the checkpoint in that quest yet that changes his dialogue to the next part. Don't mind me just running. I didn't do anything wrong. The Venery. The Venery. Where you find the Veners. Sorry. Move. The Duke's gone well. Sure, they're. But who's to say who wrote them? Some self important bastard with a bit of learnings. A piece of friendly advice. Forget the Duke. And bring in, you'll be far better. With I'm sure you'll find all you need. The Cyclops Bane, the Saurian Bane. Yeah, this would be way cooler if they were like any good. It's like, why are they so much money? They're not even that good. Legion's might. The metered catharsis. Magical bow of queer design but unerring accuracy. Especially effective against humanoid foes. Militant dove. A magical bow made of wood from a sacred tree. Its wielder takes more damage from attacks but its health replenishes of its own accord. The golden stilettos. Those are cool. But they look cooler than they are. That's a great one, the hero's cape. Oh, heresy cloak. A cloak once worn by a group of sorcerers persecuted as heretics to the faith. Huh. The worm hunt mantle. 
Oh, that is cool looking. The cloak of those tasked with protecting the realm from dragons. The form of a worm is visible in the weave. I think I'm going to wear this one. 80,000. The beastly mantle. Conqueror's mantle. A cape exuding the air of solemn refinement, supposedly once worn by a famous hero of Aldering, though its authenticity is unclear. A cape made of from the pelt of the beast of old. Such monsters are only the stuff of myths nowadays. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to get the worm hunt mantle for sure. That just looks so cool. I'm sure you'll find any time. Oh, look at it. Now, can we take that worm hunt mantle? I'm sure you'll find all you here we I'm sure you'll find all you need. Or there. Quite the pretty little item. Why not leave it with me a while? Oh. So he gave me that slate. Can I give you weapons? That's what I'm really curious of. Can he make a port crystal? Isn't that interesting? I think we're going to try that. Can we just have him make bugle after bugle? I don't think it'll let me do weapons. Snakeskin purse. I'll not beat round the bush. I'll have the goods ready. I'm sure you'll find all you need. I knew I picked up that snakeskin purse. Anytime. Who? Alright. Oh, hey, Fornival's here. Grand sword. It's a rare thing to find. Any rarities to sell? No, I don't. I want to see if you have any. I will buy that and use it at one time. Any rarities to sell? I'm right then. Hmm. Well, I'm interested to see if that snakeskin purse comes back to me. I'm going to end this episode right here, though. Yeah, when we come back, we'll continue with the main quest, guys. We'll see if we can upgrade this dragon, this worm hunt cape, too. The thing is so cool. Yep, we're looking like quite the hero nowadays. Appreciate you guys watching. See you in the next episode. Later.